Today we're making Starbucks copycat pup cups. The first one we're going to do is uh, just like the puppuccino at the Starbucks. We're going to use a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and this would be a vanilla flavor. You don't want to put any sugar in this because that's not good for your dog. You don't want him to gain too much weight. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to put uh, the whipping cream in here. And later I'm going to show you a special one that I do for my dog. They don't have it at Starbucks. Uh, and now put a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla in. It helps it give it like a, a hint of sweetness or flavor. And dogs love the smell of vanilla. It gets them really excited. And we're just going to beat this in real time so I can so you, show you how quick that you can make a little pup cup for your your buddy if you've got some extra whipping cream that you're not using or you can even uh, put a dab of this in your coffee uh, but it's not sweet at all if you want to make um, whipping cream that you can use you can whip this up first and fill up your puppy's cup and then you can add like uh, two teaspoons or so of powdered sugar and that cornstarch and the powdered sugar will make the whipping cream really thicken up nice you can even put it in in like a little icing kit thing to make fancy blobs on your coffee but this thickens up nice i didn't refrigerate the bowl or put it in the freezer or any of that crazy stuff and it whips up just fine you can use your hand mixer for this too and that'll work out and just keep uh, whisking it or or mixing it with your mixer until it uh, gets kind of clumpy and stiff but not too clumpy if you mix it too much it'll start like curdling and getting all nasty just keep whipping it until it makes like uh, little peaks flopping around and stays put after you mix it. This one looks like it's just about ready. I'll scrape the sides down a little bit. And the dog is over next to me. Anytime she hears this mixer going, she gets really excited because she knows it's, it's about to be pup cup time. I get those little cups in the uh, cup aisle or the paper plates. The little cups you use for the bathroom, little paper cups to rinse your mouth out, those make really good pup cups. That way you're not giving them like a ton at a time. But today's special, so we're gonna give the dog a big old pup cup. We're gonna put a vanilla pup cup in here first. And then we're going to whip up some peanut butter puppuccino. And uh, there's no caffeine in them. It's just whipping cream and flavors, no sugar. But we'll make a, a vanilla peanut butter puppuccino layered one for her. And Happy will be extremely happy about that. Let me get this loaded in here. It's always fun to make little dogs things whenever you cook because they get excited. And here's what it looks like. It's nice and poofy. Now we're going to go on to the peanut butter pup cup or puppuccino. So when your dog is bugging you for Starbucks, you don't have to go. You can just do it yourself. Put about a heaping teaspoon of peanut butter in there and I use the Jif sugar-free peanut butter you can use the all-natural ones without sugar and you don't want that fake sugar in there either so you don't want the any kind of uh, xylitol is bad for dogs and all that fake sweetener probably is not good either so we're just going to do it straight and this has a really strong peanut butter flavor after you get done and if you wanted to make peanut butter whipping cream for yourself, you could just put a couple of table teaspoons of the powdered sugar in there and add to it. And it'll probably taste like Reese's peanut butter cup whipping cream. We should make some kind of pie like that. Do like half chocolate, half peanut butter whipping cream kind of thing. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a thing or not, but I'm willing to try one out. 
this one will just take a, a minute or two longer because you've got that peanut butter in there, so it adds adds to it. But it does whip up very nicely. I'll show you in real time here how long it takes to get that peanut butter whipping cream whipped into to peanut butter whipped cream. Peanut butter cool whip. I wonder if they sell that. I've seen the like different flavors of the cool whips and, and stuff, but I don't see it very often. Normally around holidays they'll have like pumpkin pie spice cool whip. Pumpkin pie spice everything. I don't know why people like pumpkin pie so much. Once a year, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, this one's getting close to being good. And then we'll let the dog try it out and see how it is. It's not quite as stiff as the, the vanilla one. But I think it'll work in a cup. Yeah, that's nice and thick. That'll plop right on top there. I bet Happy is ready to try this out. All right, yeah, that looks like ice cream. That turned out real nice. It really smells like peanut butter. Get that side. 